Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded and worse. He didn't know where the little cub was. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes. I swear. Uh, stop!
Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. This must be my punishment. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Yay. Stupid reality shows. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. So hard to focus. <clears throat> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. This room feels like a prison. But I'd rather stay here than go to Jolina Shore. We must hate the sound of this thing. Yo, afternoon checkup. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. 
There's that smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Good, good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Sean, you got this. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> he ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. <sighs> what? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison, or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being, who knows? I hear you, but you're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just. Jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. 
I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. Corroboree. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? Finn. It was his idea to rip off Mero. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? He lied. I didn't want to help, but he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. They didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. Yeah, well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while. But you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Sorry, Finn. That's just karma for dragging Daniel into this shit. Oh, she didn't want anything to do with this. I wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Flores? Yes. Hi. You have me call. Everything okay? Well, she said enough, then enough. You know the rules, son. No, honey. I told you I was gonna be away for a while. I'm sorry, okay? You gotta be good. Okay. Buenola, will you down the phone, please? Yeah. I love you. Hola, mamá. Sí. Este... No sé. Todavía estoy en el hospital y... Sí. Sorry, Finn. Mañana por la noche. That's just karma for dragging Daniel into this shit. No. Y él dijo que no. Está todo el día con la playbox. Pero no quiero que se vean, por favor. Sí. Bueno, déjale. Dale. Sí. Mañana nos vemos. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. You lied to me. You have no leads. You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean. But you did, and your brother is paying the price. Fuck. You. I'm done. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore.
Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? Great. Detective Flores said I'm free to go. Woohoo. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just got to keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I could tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Yeah. Stuck in jail is a big change. Can't wait. Sorry, Joey. I'm being a dickhead. Just bummed out. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a chip. Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. Joey, you are her boss. What? Wow. Haven't seen you in a long time. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait, what's that? Super Wolf? Huh? Does that mean? It means that Daniel. Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? He's safe? 
I could see him again. Haven Point, Nevada. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape tonight. Okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Wish I could just... walk out. They've been working on these rooms forever. So fucking like sweet dreams, my friend. Maybe I can trick him. Say I need an aspirin, or something. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. Let's see. I just got to get past that locked door. And an angry guard. This one isn't screwed in. Let's do it. Hey, what the hell are you doing in there? <sighs> nice job, Sean. Now the guard is awake and pissed off. Nada. Need a superhero to open that shit. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. It's dead tonight. Works for me. I could slip into one of those rooms under construction. Can I have some privacy, please? Hey, sir, hello. Okay, what's wrong now? Head hurts, I need aspirin. That's a sad story, but I'm not a pharmacy kid. I could trick him into
This is Gracie, dude. Don't freak out. Just get out. Don't think. Just keep going. Holy shit. Oh. Take a breath, dude. Way too close. <sighs> Time to get my shit from the staff room. Is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. That's Finn. No way. What is he doing here?
guess this is my room for the night. Fuck. Shit. It will never hold until Haven Point. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Oh, come on. Did you interview everyone in that hospital? Or what? Careful. Ah, man. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. That makes up for when you bullshit me about needing cash. And I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> you know... Going okay, I guess. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth.
It's just... I don't get to see her too much. Kinda miss her. Oh, you're hooked, my son. Don't worry. This is how it goes. Ah, could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah, he's an angel. We went to the swimming pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes, it's so cool. Hey, Sean, don't crash the car. He's driving <sighs> real slow and safe, like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? Jen told me to say hi. Girl <laughs> cannot wait to see you again. Jen says hi. Sounds pretty good, Sean. You think? Maybe. Seriously, though. How are you really doing? It's too bit, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God, I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh. By the way, oh. Hey, wake up! Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out! Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. No need to. I I'm leaving. Now. You deaf? I said, out. Ugh. We don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I just... got lost, man. I wasn't sure where I was, so... I pulled over. I swear. I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign? Didn't you see it? I... was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I... got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it! <sighs> Please. I just want to go. Ho-ho! <laughs> What's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Well... I lost my keys, and... My friend helped me start it. You mean you hotwired it? Holy cow, fucking car thief, too. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother! Leave it alone! Whoa! You did not! That's it, boy. Get up. Up! Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. 
You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Don't do this. Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh... I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh... What did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Fuck off. This is my country. <laughs> Did you hear that? Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. No, we took the country back. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition, and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. No. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! Uh. What the fuck, man? Holy cow, what are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. Now. Look. Just drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man, okay? So the... the Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks.
Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. Shit, I need a break. Might be some shade at the next billboard. Stop. Can't run for miles in this heat. <sighs> yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. Never drew a desert before. Huh. It's so empty and quiet. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. <sighs> Can't see much depth anymore. I need to observe even more. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. This place is so empty. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Not a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Guess I could spice things up a bit. <laughs> Make the whole thing funnier. I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. Ah, <sighs> shit. My throat feels like sand. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. I hope we can work out everything that's happened. Yeah, you can't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. Oh, 
So much dust everywhere. <clears throat> Gotta be extra careful with my eye. Shit, there's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's topping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Truckers can't be cops, right? Need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Yeah, thanks. Hold up. To you. I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. Hey, Anton, you there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just Wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. <sighs> I am. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. What's your destination? Hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour.
Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Just a boring trucker. <laughs>